came here tonight expecting to perform and I'm actually going to leave with hopefully a couple of girls' numbers and a psychological profile. <laughs> what a night's work. Uh, yes, uh, my name's Sean, as you've no doubt heard multiple times already tonight. Uh, I am, in fact, single, uh, but I'm not a psychopath. Those charges were dropped. <laughs> Yeah, it's great to be here tonight. I'm uh, not originally from Wellington. I actually come from uh, New Plymouth. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a bad place, and it's not a good place, but uh, yeah, it's not, not too bad a place. I actually came to Wellington because I wanted to uh, further my education, and I know what you're thinking, theatre major. But uh, any form of furthering your education is quite discouraged in New Plymouth. So I found I, had, I sort of had to leave. Cause, uh, and you plummet further your education uh, actually usually means going and applying for the junior management position at the local KFC. Uh, so I thought, I'll try that, and they, uh, they turned me down. <laughs> uh, I realised afterwards they were probably concerned that while I was on the job I was going to consume more chicken than I actually sold. Uh, probably true. Oh, it's okay. I'm pleased to be here. Um, I learned a valuable lesson when I was uh, quite young. The importance of actually listening to people when they're talking to you, which as a guy is a skill that actually comes in handy quite often. Uh, I was five years old, so it was quite a recent memory, mem mem I'm making up words now, uh, memory. I, uh, I was in the car with my uh, mum, driving to school, and she just turned to me and she said, Sean, darling, you know, I just feel like I've been hit by a truck. Now as a five-year-old, I was quite dumb, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. Uh, I was sort of looking out the window at the time, Tree, 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 you know, that, that, that sort of thing. And uh, I didn't quite take it all in, all that information at the time, you know, and so we, we continued to school and I'm sitting there in the classroom and I'm doing some colouring, you know, I've got my jovies, I'm doing my thing, drawing a picture, and the, the teacher's doing the rounds uh, in, the, uh, in the classroom and she's going up to kids and she's pretending like she actually likes the pictures, going up, what are you doing there, Melanie? <laughs> is, that, is that a tree? Oh, that's beautiful. No, I like that. <laughs> yeah, you keep doing that. Timothy and giraffe. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's good. She came over to, the, she came up to my table and uh, took one look at the picture. She said, um, oh, Sean, what do you, you... Hmm. She couldn't laugh at my picture because she couldn't even tell what it was. Uh, it was actually that bad. And uh, so she asked me, Sean, what are you drawing? Mum. Oh. Oh, that's nice. There's a, a red thing. What, 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 what's that? That's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unusual. Oh, why is that? And uh, without, without stopping, without flinching at all, I just turned to her and said, because my mum got hit by a truck this morning. <laughs> She had absolutely no idea how to react, and uh, she got out. Of, she got out of the situation pretty well. She ended up sprinting to the staff room and making a frantic call. And oh, it's a misunderstanding. Sean's a bit of an idiot. Um, uh, about a year ago, now I was uh, back in New Plymouth, uh, just staying at home, and I was coming back one night from a, a pretty sick party. Yeah, it was my uh, my cousin's seventh birthday. And, uh, just, Quite, quite a nice event. They had some cake. They had about three different types of soft drink. It was uh, pretty banging, really. And uh, yes, yeah, so I was a bit of a sugar rush. I uh, got back home, uh, walked in the room, and um, saw my mum and my sister on the couch, and they were both crying. And uh, I was a bit discouraged at first because I, uh, my first instinct was uh, that they were crying because they saw me come home. Uh, and there's nothing quite as sad as realising that your mum bursts into tears at the sight of you. Thanks, mum. <laughs> It's okay, though. It turns out she wasn't. I was looking around for signs of breaking and entering or physical harm, but they were fine. And then I realised the reason they were crying was because they were watching P.S. I Love You. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that movie, but it's uh, one of those ones that goes in the genre of movies women watch when they want to have a good cry. Um, and that, it was at that point that I made the conclusion that I had absolutely no idea why you would put yourself through a situation like that where they were in such despair. I mean, I know when I'm watching a movie, as a guy, I experience one of two emotions. I'm either happy, I'm enjoying the movie, or I'm confused. And I usually don't make up my mind by the end, until the end of the movie. You know, I watch the movie and I'm either going, well, that was a waste of time, I didn't understand any of it, or I enjoyed it. You know, woman, on the other hand, you know, anger, joy, bit of confusion, fear, back to anger, and then a little bit of joy and some sadness. 
and the opening credits haven't finished yet. You know? I mean, it's a whole spectrum of emotions and, and such a rush. And it's, uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And it almost gets to the point where, when I was talking to them afterwards, they got so insecure about all the things that they didn't like about themselves that they went off on these huge tangents that were way off the original point and eventually just threw out the use of any known language to man. You know, they're, they're sitting there, I just, someone like Ryan Gosling, he's never going to love me because I know that last week I didn't go to the gym and I had some ice cream and now I know I look so fat because the other night the cat didn't come and sleep in my bed with me and I know that because I didn't go to the gym and because of that I know that I'm not going to get a good job I'm going to get this and I'm never going to do anything with that life. And being brought up in a household with English, I can tell you that that's not a known language. I, I had absolutely no idea what, the, what, they were, what they were talking about, you know, it's just one of those things. And uh, you know that when they, when they throw languages out the window, that uh, it, it's time for you to leave. And uh, so it is for me as well. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Sean Zinov.